Um, yeah, here we go. Here's all the games. Um, so, the reason why I'm picking this list is because it's specifically my taste, my preferences. You can like whatever you want. It's probably wrong, but <laughs> you're allowed to like whatever you like. So, we're going to stop or start at the top. Um, actually, I, I, you know what? I don't know. There's, there's, I do want to put a list below this one. So, add below, and then we'll go and click this which tier lists have been popular for a while now. I'm kind of late to it, but um, haven't finished. So we have to have a thing for that. As hardcore of a fanboy as I am, yes, we have to have that category. So um, first on the list, the greatest, the greatest Assassin's Creed game in the entire franchise, in the entire series, Assassin's Creed 2. 100%. There's absolutely no way you cannot put Assassin's Creed 2 at the top, and I'll tell you why. The leap between Assassin's Creed 1 and Assassin's Creed 2 is generations worth of, of shit. Go back and play the first Assassin's Creed, and you tell me if that game is playable, because it's definitely not. Which leads me to my next point. The worst Assassin's Creed game in the entire series is definitely, without a doubt, the first game. The first game is so fucking bad, the main character- Altair is the worst assassin. He is awful. Skillfully, he is godlike. He is- his skill level, his ability to kill people stealthily, his story, great. Him himself is a fucking asshole. He's the worst character in the entire franchise, right next to Haytham. So, which leads me to the next game. The next worst game in the franchise, Assassin's Creed Rogue. 100% the most boring Assassin's Creed game out of all of them. We're talking like the little phone games. We talking all of them. The most boring. I would put it down there with F, with everything else, with, with Assassin's Creed 1, but I just cannot do that. The reason why Assassin's Creed 1 gets so much respect is because it started the franchise. Honestly, there, back then, playing Assassin's Creed 1 was innovative. Playing Assassin's Creed now, you wonder, how the fuck did this shit get a sequel, which is the greatest in the entire franchise? Now, it gets a little weird after this, so I'm, I'm just gonna go with the template that I made before. The next greatest game in the Assassin's Creed franchise, and this is me personally, because I enjoy it, I think it's the greatest, I love it, it is by far the funnest, please understand, the funnest Assassin's Creed. Okay, go ahead and be mad. It's Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Now, I understand a lot of people really don't fuck with it, okay, because of the, you know, IRL stuff, and there's a bunch of stuff. It, by far, is the funnest Assassin's Creed game. Bro, the ship combat, if you did not enjoy the ship combat, I'm sorry, you missed out on the funnest part of the game. But running around as Edward, pretending to be Jack Sparrow, and doing all sorts of mayhem and chaos throughout the entire Caribbean, without a doubt, one of the greatest fucking games in the franchise. So much fun. So, so much fun. So, with that said, right below that, you guys already know, this is my personal favorite. I think this is by far the best. This is my personal opinion. I'm trying to be objective, though. The best game in the entire franchise that beats Assassin's Creed 2 as far as story and everything else, for me, personally, which should go on S, but I'm demeriting it because of all of the changes that were made from Black Flag to this game. My, my all-time favorite, Assassin's Creed Origins. Now, the story of Bayek is amazing. All the stuff with the starting of the Hidden Ones and the Assassin's Creed Order, by far the coolest shit in the entire franchise. Dope as fuck. I love it. That's all I need to say. I don't need to speak about anything else. I don't need to talk about the DLC because they speak for themselves. I don't need to talk about the other characters because they speak for themselves. It's just, it's just amazing. If you have not given this game a chance, you're missing out. Now, on the same tier, as far as like level of fun and how great the game was, you already know, your boy gotta support it. We're talking Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. By far, the only reason why it's not on the same tier as Assassin's Creed 2 is because Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, low key, is really just Assassin's Creed 2 DLC. I know, I know, you don't like to hear that. I understand, I understand the uproar. It makes sense, I get it. It's not valid, but I understand it, okay? Assassin's Creed Brotherhood was was the game where they invented that gang shit, okay? Not only could was there an app spe specifically for, like, the Brotherhood management shit, where you would go out and send people, like, you would leave home in the morning 
after sending your uh, assassins out on a mission, come home from school or from work or whatever, come back and you found that your assassins got you treasure, they got you bitches, they got you rubies, they got doubloons, they got all sorts of shit. Your entire assassins league that you sent out to do missions, they killed hundreds of Templars in your name, bro. Brotherhood is by far one of the top games in the entire series. Now, with that said, I'm gonna have to give the sequel, Assassin's Creed Revelations, is definitely not below it it's far below it now the reason why i pick revelations to be that far down revelations is great it's fun it ties in with the first assassin's creed game oh so well but revelations is in the middle because it's really a game that the pacing is bad the story is not great it definitely does not reach assassin's creed 2 doesn't even come close to brotherhood which is very unfortunate but it's still better than Assassin's Creed Rogue, better than the first Assassin's Creed. There's so many tools and, and technological shit and pieces of history that make this game amazing, but it's also the turning point for the Assassin's Creed franchise. And I say that because the Assassin's Creed 1, Assassin's Creed 2, and Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, that trilogy, that's, those three games, that series, really was Ubisoft going, I don't give a fuck mode. I don't give a fuck about your religion. I don't give a fuck about your beliefs. I don't give a fuck about none of the shit that you like. We're killing everybody. All everybody that we don't like, we're killing them in history. Assassin's Creed Revelations was the first game to introduce the prompt at the beginning. This game is is loosely depicted on history, and we don't mean to offend any any one single person, religion, belief, or any of that. That was the first time they put that in any of the fucking games because you killed the Pope in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood disrespectful disrespectful to me as a fan because that not give a fuck attitude is 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 what assassin's creed was about early on but now after revelations we're not trying to offend anyone the game suffered because of that and i feel like there was a lot of stuff that was withheld i'm sure this is the story that they wanted to tell but either way it's like receiving a paper with bullet points and you're the person that has to fill in the gaps in between each story it's much like how dragon ball super works uh toriyama writes the bullet points gives it to toyotaro and then he has to fill in the points between the tournament of power and and broly being you know showing up and then the moral arc he has to fill in the gaps and then it's up to toy uh toy animation to fill in the gaps that he didn't fill in with bullshit animation so you see how i didn't mean to relate this to how bad dragon ball super was but that's just how it is revelations is the same way now with that said i think revelations is its own class because just above that and i'm sure a lot of people are not going to like that i pick this but i have to uh regardless of if you like it or not assassin's creed unity now the reason why i put assassin's creed unity so high up on this list is because fundamentally the game is great arno's a cool character the plot is cool the story is eh, it's, it's all right it's pretty good France is an amazing, amazing area to, to roam around and do cool shit and go into the catacombs. It's awesome. The reason why it gets any demerits at all is because the game was a buggy fucking mess when it came out. Awful. Horrible. Almost unplayable. Now, with that said, cool, it's running on a different engine that they wanted to flex at the time because Assassin's Creed Rogue had come out at the same time on the previous gen, which was also really bad because they based everything on Assassin's Creed 3, which is borderline one of the worst Assassin's Creed's. We go. Guess where we gonna put that? We gonna put that right next to Assassin's Creed Rogue because there's absolutely no reason why I shouldn't put these two next to each other. Haytham was horrible. Connor was horrible. The story was horrible, but it was playable. Okay, cool. Rogue, uh, much of the same thing. Seeing a different perspective to the story. Now, with that said, I also have to put this game in the same tier. Assassin's Creed Liberation. Great game. I love Abilene. I love the story. I love all of the it was just bad though it was just not fun to play i did not enjoy it whatsoever except for the parts that were that were dope now i given we'll do an honorable mention before we get to the last two games um assassin's creed uh blood cry is that, i think that's what that was the Ottawale DLC, Ottawale does not count as an assassin. He was never inducted into the Assassin's Brotherhood. So therefore, his game is also not a complete separate game by itself, whereas Liberation was. So unfortunately, he's not on the list. But if I had to put him somewhere, it would probably be in between B and C, I guess. Maybe, maybe around there. It'd probably be around B, let's be honest. Now, next on my list, 
uh obviously let's go ahead and get this out of the way you guys have seen i have not finished assassin's creed odyssey so therefore i do not feel like i'm qualified to speak on it yet so i'll be able to place it it'll probably be around maybe b maybe c area because from the game standpoint where it's starting it just feels like they took origins put it in a different setting and they were just like we don't really give a shit about this story and also i don't like how interchangeable the male female character between cassandra and alexios i don't like how that's starting because it's the exact same thing i just don't like it i i don't care for that part uh playing as cassandra obviously the prime timeline it, that's that's the canon material right there and then obviously we have to get to it assassin's creed syndicate which is one of my personal favorites i really really like it because of the fucking zip line and all the other shit but it's kind of bad i'm willing to admit it the gang shit was really dope because there's nothing like running up on people and be like yo it's the rooks nigga and pop that's it give me your coins that's it they're so much fun but because it was very buggy and it came after assassin's creed unity it has to go in the same slot as assassin's creed unity that's just the way i feel this is this is the true definition of it okay this is this is the best this is the prime assassin's creed tier list any other tier list outside of this i promise you is incorrect i promise you but that's just my opinion <laughs> let me know what you guys think i think it yes i i agree with you guys in the chat it is an amazing tier list thank you very much but this is the way the quality sinks down man this is just the way it is um the best games are clearly the funnest the funnest games have better story but don't really compare to the best games than the games that tried to do something fundamentally different which is unity and syndicate they tried to do something a little different didn't really work out but hey you get points for trying the game that's exactly in the middle this is the threshold no assassin's creed game should be worse than this every game should be better than revelations it's in the middle everything else technically bad story bad character bad d d class 100 percent. and then just because i fucking hate it assassin's creed down at the bottom nothing technology technologically needs to be that bad ever again ever again not saying you know i'm not taking the place of what it was like when the game came out because the game definitely would have been a tier borderline b tier when it came out really good game going back and looking at it as a retrospective look the game is almost unplayable the story is like how what the fuck is going on and so that is the prime tier list i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to give today's video a like subscribe to the channel if you guys are new if you did not know i live stream monday wednesday and friday on youtube uh so definitely follow me on social media so you know exactly when i'm going live and then i also stream on twitch every tuesday and thursday um uh, so also memberships are available so if you guys would like to sponsor a video go ahead and scroll down uh it's a small subscription really helps support the channel and i greatly appreciate it thank you so much thank you guys for watching today's video i will see you guys next time make sure to keep it canon